Welcome back everyone to a new Destiny 2 video and as you can see on my screen, Solstice of Heroes is now here for Destiny 2. It's a cool event, or should I say a hot event because summer and, and heat, get it guys? Alright, sorry. It's the new event that allows you to get 400 power level armor before Forsaken drops by doing certain challenges, certain bounties, by upgrading the closest armor set you're given at some point, which we'll get into in a minute. And also, of course, moments of triumph accolades to get done if you're interested in the shirts you can get, or the other prizes you can obtain if you complete everything. Let's pop to the tower and check everything out. Okay, should we go to the statue first? Actually, no, let's go to Tess Everest and see what she gives us. And also, we can check out the loot. Alright, so we have a Solstice engram here. Actually, let's get a preview and see what we get. So, ah, oh yes, here we go. So we got the fishing emote. What's this? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> What's he fishing? Dude marches. Oh, that is creepy yet cool. Festival dance emote. I've definitely seen this. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> this will definitely be the new emote that people will use after they kill me. Check out the weapon ornaments. This one is for the Sturm. Dreadful the Sturm, personally, but... Let's see how the weapon ornament looks cool. Okay, so it's got that rusted, colored looking sort of thing going on. All right, the Cirrus Regime now. From what I gather, the community don't really like Bungie messing with the Cirrus Regime because it's sort of OG and in the heart of Destiny 1 players. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Got a golden tent there and what is that? <sighs> What is their main pattern called? I cannot for the life of me think right now. Looks decent though. Contacted Destiny 2 servers, but who cares? Let's go on to the Jade Rabbit. From the thumbnail, it looks like red and black, so... If so, that might look pretty cool. Yep, pretty standard, but I like it. Now for the thumbnail of this sparrow, this looks interesting. Whoa, that is quite literally a hornet. Blacklight Razor Sparrow, what have we here? It's like an age is to load. Okay, flashing little bits at the side. That's pretty groovy. Two ghosts here as well, Predator Sunshell. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Final ghost, that is a weird looking ball. I'm not going to bother you guys with every single item here, but I want to get the main stuff out of the way. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the main event. Reflect on the past. Let's go. Yo, where are we? This place looks nice. Please tell me this is like a new social space. This looks really cool. And there's a tent there and a tree. That looks, that looks cool. That looks like a perfect place for a picnic. In fact, that's exactly what's going to happen right now. Let's have a little picnic. Let's sit down and just enjoy the view. Okay, picnic over. There's so much room for activities here. I'm just looking around to make sure I've not missed anything. Maybe they've uh, hidden something around this map. I'm sure they have. I'm sure like, I'll see on Reddit later some amazing thing that has been uncovered in this little social space area. Okay, graphics-wise, this place is really pretty. Even got a little street thing here showing all the shops. Little shops everywhere and stuff. Like every side, there's this little sofa here. <laughs> anything behind here? Gonna find a galore? Nope. This whole place looks like a TV show set or something. It looks like some amazing stories have been told here. Everybody gather around and let me explain to you my crippling addiction to destiny. Oh, this guy just came and sat down. He's very interested in my story. This guy gets it. Okay, as pretty as this view is, I've got to move on now. What have I got to do, Ikora? Homecoming. Start mission. Okay. Ah, it's been a while since I've seen this mission. Shouldn't be too difficult, so let's quickly get this done. I brought my spindle, but as you can tell, my accuracy is... Okay, come on. I can crit him. There we go. Oh, it's heavy ammo on the wall. Are we playing Crucible? Is this like a part Crucible game? Okay, how was that not a crit? Max Spindle is probably not the best thing to use in this mission in particular. I certainly remember this hallway. There is the shielded guy, and then after that, there's the dogs. There's some more ammo here. Being quite generous with the power ammo. I'm going to show too much of this mission because I don't think this is meant to be very hard because obviously I've got my full gear on still. Oh, you guys are annoying me now. Have some hammers. Each and every one of you, come on, have some hammers. Okay, so I don't have to jump down there and destroy the motors, or am I thinking of the wrong mission? Joining allies? What? Where am I meant to be? What? Okay, now I'm stuck on the wall. Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna jump down. I'm definitely thinking of the wrong mission. <laughs> and especially because there's a Colossus up there. Okay, fair enough, it's been a while. I hate the sound the Colossus makes. Can you guys hear that clattering sound? Let's finish them off with hammers. That should pretty much kill all of them. Come on, my accuracy with them is... Weird. Okay. Mission complete. Alright, that's easy enough. Now we gotta go to the statue and acquire a gift. Ooh, is this gonna be our armor? Consider your journey. Okay. I will consider my journey. Broken armor set. Ah. It's gonna be the... Oh, it's green. Okay. So it's like the beginning armor set. Shouldn't this be like the armor set when you first start the campaign? There's all our triumphs as well. I did notice you have to redo a couple of these things. That's fine by me though. I think this whole event really is just to time gate more stuff until Forsaken drops. So each armor piece I guess has a different set of bounties or like little challenges to do. Let's put all this stuff on. It's taking a while to load so we're gonna... Oh, yeah, there we go. Instant throwback to the beginning of Destiny 2. Where times were... Strange. Very strange. Okay, so for the helmet, you need 10 Guardians defeated, so I guess we'll just jump into Crucible for like 10 seconds and just get that done. Seems easy enough. This shouldn't take long, but I've just realized one of the armor things is get orb kill or arc kills and orb kills or something like that in Crucible, so this is going to be like full of people wearing the armor set and 
everyone's going to be using arc stuff. I'm not going to show too much of it because I'm literally going to get 10 kills and get the hell out. We got some spindle ammo. I love this sniper room cruiser, but it's so nice. That was a really lucky body shot. I've noticed the hitbox on this thing is massive, especially to the head. I think I've already got two or three kills already, so... You die, he's using arc. That guy's also using arc, body shot. Another body shot? Okay, zero. <laughs> three body shots. Oh, missed. Oh, I didn't even shoot the fourth. Not a single killer man, so I don't think that counts. Jump shot. Nope. Body shot him. Okay. The kibu is going to come in clutch here. That was a one hell of a pre-fire. Can I get him? Last bullet. I'll take it. This guy's got a gun on gun. I'm going to die. No, nope, I lived. Okay, that's three kills. Can get some kills. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This guy's got a scout rifle. Should beat him. Did beat him. Come on, tier warlock. There we go. That's five, I think. Well, I've failed very hard with my super this game, so... One more kill there, and the game's pretty much over, so I'm positive I have my ten kills. One last raid. Okay. Match over. Let's check the helmet, I believe it was. Do we have the crucible kill sorted out? Yes, we do. Okay, that's... I mean, one very small step. <laughs> crucible is ridiculous right now. It's like all arc. If you have the risk runner, I mean... Now's the time to use it. Alright, so I think we should get one of the missions done. I don't know if you have to be wielding the entire armor set or just the particular piece that it's for. So at the moment we are like 278 power. Um, not entirely sure how well this will go. Having said that though, we have a tank. Oh god, how do I drive this thing? Oh, I'm... Oh! What, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm bumping into everything. It's driving a tank. It's a very simple concept. I've missed already. Everyone die. Oh, I've missed how fun this was. Everyone dies. Explosions everywhere. How does someone survive? Come on, you all die. You guys get exploded. You guys get exploded. Everyone gets exploded, including my tank. Oh boy, I'm out of here. Not sure if that ammo thing's always been around, but that's quite handy. Okay, get rid of the Thresher. Get rid of these sniping thralls. Thralls? No, Scions. Need to pay closer attention there. You guys get sniped. There we have it. Our tank is very low health. We have to be careful pressing onwards here. Alright, you guys get exploded. Uh oh. These signs are here. Uh oh. This is... Looks like the end. Looks like the end. Get rid of the thresher. Come on. Come on. Did I just miss point blank? Are you serious? I've got to get out. I've got to get out. Oh, evacuate. Well, we've lost our tank. Everyone leave an F in the comment section below. How much time now? Let's kill the rest of these guys. All right, Kabul. I swear there was an interceptor over here somewhere. Where is it? Where, what? Oh, there it is. Look at that hiding away. It's trying to assassinate me. That's rude as hell. Are you telling me that's not three crits? I crit a shield. Come on. Okay, so far we're dealing with this quite well. But then again, that's probably because we've had a tank. Come to think about it, I shouldn't have to wear all the green armor. What is, What mission is the one I'm on right now? I'm on payback. So it's not the helmet. It's not the gauntlets. Not the chest. Wait, is that the chest? Nope. Not legs. Ah, so it's the Titan Mark. So surely you only have to wear the Titan Mark for that. So I can wear the rest of my stuff apart from the Titan Mark or whatever whatever armor piece the mission is required to beat, I guess. That should work. We're on the Payback and the Titan Mark is Payback. Well, this immediately should be much easier. Uh oh, you guys hear that clattering. You guys need to receive many hammers. Everyone explode. I'd really appreciate it, especially you, Colossus. Can we no scope you? No, we can't. We miss. Good. That's fantastic accuracy. Okay, so what we've done is switch to the sun shot. And shouldn't there be a tank here for me? Can I spawn one? No? Oh. What? I, I, I mean, I guess I'm I'm tankless. Switch to the sun shot to see if that's any better for us. I don't think so. Really, it's any excuse to use the sun shot in PvE. Probably not the best idea to slide through the Kabul after it's exploded. But hey, that's a risk I took. Interceptors, you guys are evil. Please go away. There's even more of them as well. There's two of them over there. How many of them are there? Am I going to have to the hammers right? You got... Are you serious? That... That must have been the softest death ever. Why did I... Why did I push interceptors? What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, we have a tank now, so things will already be infinitely easier. Now I need my revenge. You guys already know here. Everything's going to be blown up. Everyone dies. Get out of my way, interceptors. There may be a Goliath tank here, but I don't care. That's a good amount of them gone. Although there's two or three of them still down here next to this Goliath. Alright, Kabul, look. Get out of the way. Can't have my tank dying. We're already low health as it is. Wait for them to pair together like that. Okay, we got one. That's the two. One more. We'll go for the Goliath, though. That's the main thing. We can't lose our tank again. It's too risky. There we go. We've got everyone dead here. Okay, next part, we kind of don't have a tank again, but that's okay. So, 
this, I think there's a good life at the end of this, so we're going to skip like the entire thing. This is how we're going to do it. Just watch me. First of all, you got to have confidence in what you're doing. Have confidence in your craft. There's a Goliath. Okay. So we're going to be careful not to get... Oh, like I just said. <laughs> Confident and careful not to get stunned. And what you want to do is go straight up to the door and... Uh, pray it opens. Like, right away before you die and perish. Um, it, it kind of isn't opening. So I think we have to do some damage on the Goliath tank first. Thankfully, we have hammers. Get some damage on the Goliath. I don't think this is going to kill it. I don't think this is going to even halfway kill it, but I think... Oh! Oh wait, the door's opening. That's enough. Okay. This plan has been successful. This has been Heli, your MLG strategy guides to missions. Okay, final part, I believe. Kabul, vehicles destroyed. Zero of eight. Okay, so I've just got to destroy ships, or is it... Can it still be interceptors? By the way, we have a tank, so we're going to be destroying everything. Oh, this is... This is sticky. Well, we've lost it. Oh. Hello, Goliath. We meet again. Well, we have five more to blow up, and we don't have a tank, so this is going to be a lengthy process. We need some power armor for this one. Oh, one rocket? Wow, we're already getting the crucible experience of power armor here. We're so close to getting this done. Please, you guys are like both zero health. Don't die. Do not die. Do not risk it. Oh, there's one beside us as well. Wow. Oh, oh, we might die. We really might die. Oh, eight of eight. That's it. We are done. Now we have to kill the boss, so let's stylishly get over this little barrier here. That will be hit by Colossus and our sparrow is destroyed. Great. How are we going to do this then? This is going to be the slowest kill of the century. We have a sunshot and a scout rifle. If we can stay alive long enough to get the super. Oh, that's... Okay. Uh, we're almost dead already. Drop some power armor for me, please. I'm really in desperate need of some power armor. Come on, you guys. A Goliath tank killed me. A Goliath tank killed me from about 97 feet away. What is life? Alright, screw this, we're going with the Polaris Lance. It's not even the Goliath we need dead, it's this other guy. So we have these two fat Colossus-related thingies trying to kill us. So let's just try and safe spot them from a very close distance with the Polaris Lance and hope for the best. Right, we're getting some good damage on this Colossus. Oh, I love the Polaris Lance. Alright, final boss. Goliath tank's out of the way. You guys, you're so dead. You are so dead. Yes, thank you. Mission complete. You hear that, Goliath tank? You cannot kill me now. Well, you you killed me, but you can't stop me. Well, there we have it. We, <laughs> we've covered the Titan mark. We've done a mission. I think it's like one of five, I believe. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this Solstice of Heroes event. Just wanted to cover what I did on the first day and really just what I got up to. Please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this style of video. Because if so, I'm very happy to make them. I know obviously I've been making maybe a bit too many Crucible commentaries recently. And it's always good to have a little bit of balance between PvE stuff and just messing around. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this event so far. To me, it's a good little bit of fun until Forsaken drops. So regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.